people come to the South Downs National Park for its big open spaces and beautiful wildlife. But as the sun sets, turn your gaze skyward and a whole other universe appears. Away from the bright lights of the cities, the South Downs is the best place in South East England to see the stars. And in May 2016, the park was recognised as an international dark sky reserve. So if you look to your left, over here in the east, you'll find me. I'm Dan Oakley, I'm a lead ranger and I have a special interest in the night sky. And tonight we're here on Bigner Hill, one of the South Downs dark sky discovery sites and I'm going to take you on a journey across the night sky. And it's incredible to think there could be as many as two trillion galaxies in our universe and each one of those galaxies could contain billions of stars. And that beautiful dense stream of light above our heads in the night sky is our galaxy, the Milky Way. It is a vast spiral shaped mass of stars, gas and dust bound together by gravity. Like a huge whirlpool, it rotates once every 200 million years. And that tiny flashing star is our own sun, some 25,000 light years from the center. That means if you were traveling at the speed of light, and that's 300 million meters per second, it will take you 25,000 years just to get there. Back here on Earth, human civilizations have always used the night sky as a compass to help navigate their way across a planet, but also to tell stories of myths and legends. And in winter, in the South Downs, we get a fantastic view of Orion, the mighty hunter of Greek mythology. And here he is, rising in the east. And he's really easy to find. Just locate the three stars that are in a line. That's his belt. The two stars above are his shoulders, and the two bright stars below are his legs. Some people now call it the Harry Potter constellation because it's shaped like a H. Hanging just under the three stars of Orion's belt is what looks like a fuzzy star. This is in fact the Orion Nebula. Nebulae are giant clouds of dust and gas, and some, like this one, are the birthing grounds of new stars. So the best time to go stargazing is under a new moon. That's when the skies are going to be at their darkest. But when there is a full moon, it's fantastic, especially if you can see it through a pair of binoculars or a telescope like this. The moon is thought to be 4.5 billion years old. It was formed after a massive collision between an object the size of Mars and the young Earth. The craters are formed when asteroids, meteorites and comets collide with the moon's surface. You can see its most famous crater, Tycho, near the South Pole. It's incredible to think that just 50 years ago, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took their first steps up there on the Sea of Tranquility. Well, that's it for tonight, so go out and embrace the darkness. And if you'd like to explore the night sky some more, head to one of our dark sky discovery sites all across the National Park. And you never know, you might get lucky. You might see some bats emerge from their roosts or even see an owl. And I'm pretty sure that Hedwig is up there somewhere. With two million people living within five kilometers of the National Park, the star-studded skies are worth protecting both for our enjoyment and to help nocturnal wildlife thrive. Check out our website at southdowns.gov.uk for some simple things you can do to preserve our dark night skies.